How are you today? Hello! I hope you're doing well. So today, I want to talk to you about how to use Sumo. Some of you might be wondering what is that? I was talking about how to find an apartment and Sumo is one of the website. Hey guys, so I got Sumo on my website right now and I'm using Google Chrome to translate and you saw like that it's translated the page so you can actually click on it or click translate this page and so I just want to show you guys really quickly how to do that and also you can actually right click and do translate to English if it's not giving you any of the information or the option but before that you need to get a widget in Google Chrome to translate do the translation so that's what you need so once you click on it it takes you to the website and it's all in Japanese but it will translate to English there we go so it translated to English now you know what you're looking at and what you're trying to find some button won't translate but most of the one that is important will translate i'm living in kanto area so i'm going to show you guys the kanto area if you don't really know what kanto area is it's like tokyo kanagawa chiba saitama ibaraki and all those areas I'm gonna click on kanto area and it takes me to here we're going to want to look at rental so this is great because like you know most of us won't be able to instantly know how to read Japanese so this is really good option so this is area option is for train train line so you can specifically search the train line or the area so for now I'm gonna show you the area ah, so it translated so you can choose the option of what area you want to rent at especially if you choose um you can scroll down and look at the thing and you can have the um the rent it says like how much you want to look at so let's see from 35 to let's say 50,000 50,000 and then you can include like if you don't want to pay for key money or deposit you can have that option as well which is good because in Japan you have the um, there's a system where you have to pay key money thank you money to the landlord and the agency as well so you don't really want those costs so let's see no deposit no key money okay and you can click on the option of like how long it is you want to walk from the station so now I want to explain to you how the floor plan works one room is just one room 1k it means that there's a room and there's a kitchen 1dk it means that it has one room one kitchen and one dining room as well but when it says dining room it just means that the kitchen and small room try not to, to be confused with the western style when you say dining room there's a separate room that is just for dining over here it doesn't really mean that probably a very very small floor space one LDK it means that you get one room one kitchen one dining room and living room as well so this is a little bit bigger which is much nicer the whole process is all the same so let's just click one DK one LDK 2K 2LDK and yeah also you want like a restroom and stuff because some of the Japanese building sometimes they don't have bathroom so you can't take a shower you have to go to the local area to take a shower or bath so you can take a look at that and whatever you need now I'm just gonna go very quickly to Katushka uh, Let's say Shibuya. Probably they don't. They wouldn't have that many. Okay, so I'll just choose some of those and let's search. Okay, so now it takes you to here. So on here you will get like the information where the building is and like the second floor and how long it was built, how far it's from the station and everything and how much. Um, Let's move. Okay, so here 
this is where all the prices that should have been but because we choose not to have like other prices it doesn't include all the other prices you can see that the floor plant this is how the floor plant is ah so let's see look um it only has a bath a toilet and doesn't have shower room <laughs> so only toilet and shower room no shower room so that's why it's so cheap in Shibuya so the translation it's quite good like you can have really good translation and then you can like email the company about what you can get and what um, if it's available or is it renting for foreigners because um, a lot of landlords in Japan they don't really like renting for foreigners I just want to show you a little bit more ah there we go so this is a very traditional toilet bathroom and everything and so 4.5 it's not very big it's quite small it looked big on here but it's not that big um, I will try and show you guys maybe some other time on my apartment so, so this is 2k and you can see where it is price so there's an extra charge there this is a little bit bigger it has a toilet it has a shower and everything so two bedroom wow this is really nice stuff <laughs> I'm just like oh maybe I should start moving there <laughs> I just want to show you let's not take the key money and the stuff so you can see what it looks like um, so when I put see there's a the price here so it will say like this is the charge so um Renke and warranty and everything yeah. so it tells you the information on here how far it is the building how long it has built and stuff and the um, this is the measurement and uh, uh, how many rooms and then the deposit and the yukan and everything and over here more details and things if you don't mind that um, the building itself is quite old then a lot of the building will be very cheap in Japan a lot of people won't want to live in a building that old they want to live in a new building so that's why it's so cheap wow that's quite good whoa okay now it's really old <laughs> Oh my god, I could imagine like some grudge climbing out of the bathtub or the toilet grabbing you and everything. It's scary. Anyway, I hope that helped you guys. If you have any question at all, tell me what you think about Japanese style of renting house. Please subscribe and like. Please like. Please subscribe. Subscribe. I'm going to hypnotize you. Subscribe now. Subscribe. Mm -hmm. And like. And I'll see you next week. Enjoy life and see ya. Bye.